Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue our series on the lives of the saints. And on this, the 22nd of June, we celebrate the memory of the of St. Alban, the first British martyr. St. Alban was a pagan of modest origins who lived in Verulamium and who's off, who offered hospitality to to a missionary priest who is fleeing his persecutors. When Alban saw his guests preserving and pr persevering in prayer day and night, he was touched by divine grace and began to follow his example, questioning him about his faith. The teaching of the holy priest drove all trace of idolatrous superstition from his heart, and he received the illumination of holy baptism. The Roman governor was informed that the missionary priest was hiding in St. Alban's house, and he sent soldiers to the house to arrest him. When they arrived, they found Alban dressed in the priest's robes, but the priest had fled. He put up no resistance when seized and was taken before the tribunal just at the, at the moment when the judge was about to offer sacrifice to the false gods. Beside himself with a rage and realizing that he had been tricked, the magistrate threatened St. Alban with death unless he handed over the fugitive and offered sacrifice to the gods. When he was asked about his identity, Alban proudly replied that he was henceforth a Christian, both in name and manner of life, and he mocked the inanimate idols, which would neither answer those who worshipped and offered prayer to them, but would rather cause the eternal damnation of their devotees. The judge handed him over to his soldiers to be beaten without mercy, but as the saint showed the endurance of the in, an incorporeal being and was radiant with joy, the judge ordered that he be executed without delay. It is said that his, by his prayer, St. Alban allowed the crowd who came to be present at his execution to, the cross, to cross the river coal dry shot, not to delay the his entrance into heaven by having to wait until they had passed across the narrow bridge that led to the scaffold. One of his executioners was converted by this miracle and declared that he was ready to be beheaded in the saint's place. Dragged to the top of a high hill, Alban, through his prayers, caused a spring to gush forth so that the crowd might quench its thirst. He prayed for his persecutors and then peacefully surrendered himself to the sword. At the moment at which the saint's head fell to the ground, his, the eyes of the executioners fell out of their sockets. Before such a spectacle, the governor ordered that the persecution cease and that due honor be paid to the glorious martyrs of Christ. From that time, many sick people found healing in at St. Alban's tomb, and his veneration spread throughout England, where he is venerated as the first martyr of that country, as well as in the rest of Europe. May, the, through the prayers of St. Alban, the first martyr of Britain, have God have mercy on us and save us. Amen. God bless you. We're here for you. Don't hesitate to reach out, call us, email us, leave us a message on social media, leave us a note in the comment section. If you'd like to support this ministry, remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Again, God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day.